Welcome to episode 23 of my West Ham FM 15 career and it is the start of the fourth season and we're about to play Man City away from home so this is the first match of the league season oh it's going to be a tough old game isn't it first game against Man City and not really looking forward to this one away from home um Aston Villa West Brom next so that that sh should hopefully be wins if we don't win this we've had a bit of a tough pre-season as well to be honest with a couple of poor draws defeat against Tranmere. I don't know what was going on there I didn't manage any of these I let my assistant take control and this was in fact the uh, Michael Carrick testimonial game we lost 3-1 against Man United but first of all let's look at transfers before we get on with this game I'll show you my transfer history for the summer so we sold £49 million pounds worth of players but for whatever reason the board had selected really low percentage um, amount of money going towards my transfer so even though I sold a huge amount of money I didn't get most of it which is pretty irritating I sold Javier Hernandez to Blackburn for £15 million. like I said I was trying to get rid of some of my strikers because I don't really need them so I managed to get rid of Hernandez Van Dijk for £20 million, that was his release clause I've given Zulu a new contract I think I've doubled his contract but he had a really low release clause so I didn't want to lose him also sold Sacco for £6 million to Palace they didn't want to spend £10 million, but £6 million was the highest I could get from anyone Danny Ings has also gone to Palace for £7.5 million so they've signed two of my strikers Kiate eventually got rid of him to Derby who were relegated coming into the team a wonder kid Oh, I think he's going to be a wonder kid. It's Deberia, 18 years old. He was 17 when I signed him. I've loaned him out straight out to Norwich in the Championship, and he scored four goals in three games in total so far already. That's an incredible start to his loan period of Norwich. He's going to be a star. Really looks very good. 18 on finishing already. Christian Tello on a free is an amazing sign-in. Will be on the left wing or the right wing. Just super pace going to cause problems to defences hopefully Wilfred Zaha 6.75 million now I think that's a bit of a bargain because Chelsea paid 14.25 million for him he's worth how much 14 million and you know they didn't really need him they wanted to get rid of him and I've signed him should hopefully be a good winger in my new system that is actually using wingers Anthony Marshall 9 million. I think not all of that in one go, but he's a very good striker on the game and has been the last couple of FMs. And to get him for that price, I think, is a bargain because I've seen him go for a lot more than that. On FM 14, I think you had to spend like 25 million if you wanted him. And should hopefully be a very good player for me. Will be my, 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 <laughs> he will be my main striker. Uh, that's the plan anyway. Now, although Van Dijk's gone, I've replaced him with possibly a better centre-back, and he's also Dutch, Joost van Aken, 23-year-old, from Herenveen, and he looks incredible. I don't understand how he hasn't got any caps of the full team yet, because he looks insane. Uh, and he's got a pretty reasonable wage as well. And to get him on free is just amazing. And lastly, Luciano Acosta on a free. May not... He may. It's a bit of a gamble in a way. He looks good, but... I don't know how he's going to be. We'll, we'll see how he does. He's come from Boca. Uh, he may be a bit injury prone. Um, he, but, well, we'll find out, won't we? I, he could be a, an amazing player. He might be a bit of a flop. But for free, I've got not, I haven't really got anything to lose. So, let's do this. Let's play Man City and attempt to get something against him. This is the team I've gone with. Patrick Roberts has managed to get his first two England caps despite any really breaking into my team at the end of last season but he's he is a wonder kid he's going to be a star hopefully Tillmans and Canales in midfield Cranvitter managed to keep hold of him despite being unhappy and wanting to leave Ivan Zulu van Aken Douglas Santos and Liali in goal gone for him over Kuhn got to build him up as he's younger and hopefully will be a star for me for many years to come or perhaps if I do improve over time perhaps he'd become my backup and I'll bring in an even better keeper uh, what should we say so they've got Lukaku up front I did try to sign Lukaku I had a bid accepted but he wanted 150k a week 
Then I managed to get it down to 100, but he wanted a 50k goal bonus and a 50k appearance fee. So it was pretty much 200k a week, possibly. So I just withdrew. He's gone to Man City. He looks incredible. Uh, but there's no point spending that amount of money on a player. There really isn't. Unless you've got the money to do so, and he really, really is going to guarantee you something. And I guess Lukaku would, but he might just destroy things because even offering some players 50, 60k a week, it's made other players in my team unhappy because they're not receiving those fees themselves. So that, you just have to be careful sometimes. Anyway, hopefully Anthony Marshall will be good for me up front. He's only 21, so I can't expect a huge amount from him. I can't expect him to be my main man. Well, I, I am expecting him to be my main man, but we shall see. I've got Zarate, of course, Valencia, uh, Vargas still, but they all can play on the wings as well. So lots of... Oh, can Patrick Roberts score? No, he's hit the post. Lots of flexibility in my front line. And Valencia's not in the, on the bench today because he's a bit tired. I think he's been on international duty, of course. Not everyone's fully fit from pre-season yet. Ah, oh, Roberts could have intercepted there. Depe. He's going through and he shoots wide. He destroyed me last season. Very good player. Come on, guys. How Blackburn got a... They must have won 6 net. They beat QPR six by 6 goals in their first game. That's a crazy result. Can we hold on? We have. We've held on to half-time. 0-0. Nil -nil. Not very good for you guys watching, but... That's pretty good for me. What shall I say? Encourage the team we can still win this tonight. Hmm. Let's go for that then. And then go out there. I'm not sure what the weaknesses in my team. Perhaps right back. Even's good. And obviously I've got Sorg as backup. But they're perhaps not as strong as some of my other positions in the team. Midfield, I've got lots of players. Tillmans, Canales, Noble, Downing. Uh, a few others. Morrison, of course. Got some good midfielders. Win that. Well done, Zulu. Now playing on the right-hand side of at the centre-back this season. Oh, here goes Yarmolenko. Very good player, of course. And Lukaku scores. He punishes me for not signing it. Although he didn't want to come to me at all. There's like 20 clubs after him. So I don't think it would put me anyway. So We're 1-0 down. We're going to have to go attacking. We're going to go more direct and see what happens. Who's not been playing very well so far? Might bring Tello off, bring on Zarate on the wing, play him as an inside forward, which was what Tello was playing as actually. Attacking uh, midfield. Anthony Marshall's not been very good at front, to be honest. Tillmans is quite tight. Canales. We'll bring on Morrison. See what happens. Come on, lads. We haven't actually. I think we've had one chance. Patrick Roberts hitting the post from a tight angle. But not much is going on in this game. I think I might have to go with my old trusty 4 3 3. Bring off Roberts and go for that. See what happens. Go more direct. Put ball into mock box. My tactic with wingers was working well at the end of last season, and it's not been too bad in this game, but it hasn't been good enough, and nothing much is going on, as you can see. Long throw into the box. Can they get a second here? Lukaku saved. Oh, brilliant defending by number three, whoever that was. Ah, oh, my new defender, Van Eken. One last chance, maybe. Here goes Morrison. No, no, no. Gives it away. Poor. It's not what we want to see. Get in there, guys. Looks like it's going to be a disappointing defeat. Lukaku, what a save by Liali. But I'm positive for this season in general. We've got a good, solid team. We've obviously finished fifth last season. We're in the Europa League. I'm really hoping we can get a Champions League place this season. 
That would be beautiful. If not, never mind. But we need to make progress. Uh, my job is safe, I'm sure. But it would be nice to actually make some progress this series and win something. That would be nice. Win a cup. That would be good. And Torre, good save again. And they've blocked again. That, to be fair, they probably deserve to win this game on the balance of play. Need to improve. We do need to improve. But we were unlucky in this game. Not so good game from um, even at right back. Marshall didn't play very well up front in his first game. But he might be a bit lonely up there. We'll just have to see what happens in the next few games. But thank you for watching. Please leave a like. I'll give you another update in a few games time. See how we're getting on. Hopefully we'll have won a few games by then. And yeah, wish me luck. Uh, comment your thoughts on my signings as usual. That would be nice to hear. And let me know what you think of the series in general.